Hello and Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to another tutorial of object oriented programming. I am with you MD Shahjadur Ahmed and we are in lecture 6 today. Today we are going to discuss about interface, inheritance and super keyword in Java. So we have already discussed about inheritance in our previous tutorial but today we are going to discuss it in a broad way with the types of inheritance and the workup super keyword and interface. So let's start. First of all, inheritance. So we have already known that inheritance is a way to that an object can acquire the property of another object. The concept of inheritance provides the idea of reusability, means we can add additional feature to an existing class without modifying it. This is possible by deriving a new class from the existing one. So inherited class is called as parent class super class and base class so uh, we have already said that and class that inherits a parent class is called child class subclass and derived class so most of the time we will call the uh, the in inherited class as parent class and the inherit class as child class so uh, inheritance is actually implemented by extend keyword um, and we have already practiced some of them like um, extend is the keyword used to inherit a property of a class below given the syntax of extend keyword so first of all the super class and then uh, the subclass uh, subclass will extend the super class like uh, if the uh, if two class are person and a student we know a student is also a person so a student is a person inheritance also represent the is a relationship so first of all the class person and then class student extends him uh, sorry it, it it should be student so um, anyway it is uh, it is a way of uh, doing inheritance uh, an example a coding example of inheritance so as you can see there are a, um, a first class is employee which is parent class and another class is uh, programmer which is child class in the uh, parent class there are only uh, an um, um, variable which is instant variable like salary and then the child class uh, programmer extends employee and then uh, there are also an um, uh, a variable like bonus and then the main method is started and then uh, we have created an object and after that um, in print line we have uh, called the, the salary uh, through the, uh, the reference variable object reference variable so because uh, the programmer extend or programmer inherits employee so it can it can access the salary variable as well and as its own variable so this is an example of <coughs> inheritance so uh, you can have a uh, result like this program sal programmer salary is uh, like 40,000 and the programmer is 1,000 um, so uh, bonus is 1,000 so let's move on to next one now um, uh, let's discuss about the type of inheritance so there are various types of inheritance as demonstrated below so first of all single in inheritance as we are dealing till now it is called actually a single inheritance where we uh, actually uh, extend uh, from a child class uh, the uh, we extend the parent class so it is called actually single inheritance there are also multi-level inheritance which is um, uh, like uh, this is the grandfather this is father and this is son so uh, there are three class a b and c so <coughs> first of all class a is declared and then uh, we said that class b extend class a and then we said class c extend class b so this one is actually actually uh, called as multi-level inheritance and uh, we will uh, also try this in our coding and then hierarch hierarchical inheritance in this case we have uh, we are uh, seeing that a single class is inherited from uh, two different parent class or we can uh, child class or we can say uh, a which uh, a class which is a parent class having two child b and c so in that case we actually write down that uh, first of all we declare the parent class and then we say b extends a or b is a son of a and then we say 
c extend a that means c is a uh, son or daughter of a so it it is called hierarchical inheritance and then multi uh, multiple inheritance but uh, before we describe multiple inheritance let me tell you that java does not support multiple inheritance but uh, as we are actually learning about the different type of inheritance so we uh, at least we need to know uh, the this type also so uh, first of all um, on uh, a child actually belongs to two father <laughs> as we know it is actually not possible so that's why it is saying that java does not support it so uh, this is how actually there are different type of uh, inheritance uh, we seen that uh, four types of inheritance single inheritance multiple inheritance uh, hierarchical inheritance and uh, multiple inheritance so let's move on now the super keyword so super keyword is also work as the this keyword so we have already uh, learned uh, how to use or what are the use of this keyword so uh, let us see what are the use of super keyword super keyword uh, is used in broad way as well so it is very helpful than uh, this keyword so that's why we are actually now learning uh, the use of super keyword so the super keyword is similar to this keyword uh, if a class is inheriting the property of another class that means there is inheritance uh, present there and if the variables of an super class that mean parent class have the same uh, name as the subclass that means the child class to differentiate those variable we use super keyword so that means uh, if there is any case that there are two uh, classes on parent class on child class but uh, there are some variables uh, um, that is same in both class then that particular time we actually use the super keyword to differentiate those variable uh, we use super keyword following uh, um, uh, we use super keyword following at the scenario where uh, the super keyword are used so these are the uh, scenario where super keyword can be used uh, first of all super is used to refer immediate parent class inherit uh, instant variable so that particular time we actually uh, write super and then dot then which variable from the parent class we are going uh, trying to access that particular variable then super is used to invoke immediate parent class method so we can also invoke or call immediate parent class method with the reference to the super keyword so uh, in that case we write down super dot method the uh, from the parent class so we'll see example in in the following uh, um, slides and then super method is used to invoke immediate parent class constructor so we have not discussed about constructor but we say that constructor is a special type of method which actually uh, which actually named by the class name so uh, it uh, super method is actually used to call the constructor of uh, parent class so let us see three example of three different scenarios first of all we will start with um, super keyword to refer parent class instant variable so uh, you can see there are two uh, programs one is without using super keyword and what will have uh, what will be the problems with uh, without using super keywords and another is solution by using super keyword so uh, let's see that there is a um, class called vehicle and there is another class called bike so uh, uh, we can understand that vehicle is parent class and bike is style class and in vehicle there are an instant variable called speed and there is a ini yeah, the speed va variable is initiated as 50 and then uh, the bike class is extends uh, the vehicle and then there is also a variable in uh, bike class which is speed equal to 100 and then there is a method called display and uh, uh, from the method we are uh, just uh, uh, giving the output of e speed okay so now um, in the main method we have created an object and um, the, through the object reference variable we are calling the display method so uh, from the display method you can see um, because we haven't used the super keyword this e speed is actually uh, referred to the e speed uh, this one is actually uh, call this value so it will give an output of the um, child uh, child class so 100 
so what are the way to print the value of uh, parent class so we can solve this problem with the help of super keyword uh, so you can see in the right side the solution so same thing uh, we start with uh, vcal which is parent class and then there is an instant variable call speed with a value of uh, 50 and then bike for extend vehicles and then uh, the, uh, there is another variable in bike class which is speed equal to 100 and then a display method in display method we say uh, that super dot speed so now it will invoke the uh, instant variable of parent class okay because we have used super so uh, now compiler uh, java compiler will understand okay fine because super so we have to uh, uh, move to the parent class and then find out that is there any variable called soup uh, speed and then we have to uh, uh, and and then compiler has to uh, display the output of the print uh, speed so similarly we have uh, called the uh, main method and created an object through the reference variable we call the display method and this particular time it will print the value of the uh, parent class so you can see the output is 50 which is uh, the value of his paid so that's how actually uh, is uh, super keyword will uh, help us uh, to call the instant variable of the parent class so now let's move on to the uh, second scenario which is uh, super to invoke parent class method so uh, this keyword uh, through the this keyword actually we can also use the um, the data or the instant variable of parent class but we cannot uh, invoke a method of parent class so this is the different or advantage of super over the this over this keyword so the super keyword can also be used to invoke parent class method it should be used in case subclass contain the same method as parent class as it is uh, shown in the uh, uh, below example so suppose there are two same method uh, uh, you can see in uh, parent class which is our uh, person class which is our uh, parent class this one is our parent class and the uh, student class which is our child class child class so there is also a very uh, method called message so in both case the uh, method are same so in that particular time uh, when we have to execute the uh, method of uh, parent class and with the same name we use actually the super keyword so let's see um, in uh, method of uh, the parent class there is a message which is welcome and in the method of child class there is a, a uh, message called welcome to java and then in the child class which is student there is a display method and in display method first of all we display the message uh, or, or invoke the message of its own uh, uh, from its own class that means it will display its own uh, method uh, and then uh, from the student class and then we say it's super dot message uh, but uh, as we use super compiler now know that it is from the parent class so it move forward to the uh, parent class method and uh, display whatever inside the method so um, uh, now we move to the main method and uh, created a, uh, uh, an object so uh, this one is actually should be student created an object and through the object we call the display so if we call the display it will execute two methods first of all it will execute the method of child class uh, which is actually welcome to and uh, the child class welcome to java and then it will execute the method of parent class which is um, welcome so you, as you can see the output is welcome to java first of all and then welcome so this is how actually uh, super method uh, the, the super works to call a or invoke a method from the parent class so let us move to the third scenario so in third scenario uh, we need to see that super keyword now it will be uh, used to invoke the constructor of a parent class so what is constructor we haven't learned yet what is constructor but um, uh, lightly we have discussed that constructor is a special type of uh, method which is actually named by the class name so as you can see it, this one is a constructor uh, which is having a name of um, um, the class name so we can say that it, this is a method method which having the same name as the class so 
now this method is begun uh, become as the constructor also in the, the this one the class is bike and a method with the same name so this one is uh, also become a constructor of this bike class so super keyword is uh, also used to invoke the constructor of a parent class from this one uh, this example you can see the parent class is vehicle and there are a constructor and in this constructor there is a, m a statement that a vehicle is created and then in the uh, the bike extend the vehicle so bike is a vehicle you know that uh, and then there is another method with same name so this one is also a constructor of a bike class and then uh, from the bike class first of all we have um, um, use the super method so super method used to invoke the constructor of uh, uh, the parent class so uh, it will invoke the vehicle uh, vehicle uh, constructor so constructor of uh, vehicle class and then um, uh, another statement is executed that uh, bike is created so now from the uh, from the uh, below part we have created an object and uh, through the object we have called the uh, uh, call the bike so it should be uh, sorry it uh, should be bike so it will call the uh, bike constructor and it will first of all implement the um, uh, the constructor of parent class so uh, it will move to the constructor of parent class and there is only only statement in the uh, constructor of parent class which is vehicle is created so uh, the vehicle is created it will display uh, in the outputs and then it will execute the statement in the uh, itself constructor which is bike is created so it will display the bike is created part so that's how actually super uh, method is used to invoke the constructor of parent class so we'll discuss about constructor later with a brief this and uh, types of constructor so for now just uh, understand this concept so um, there so we have uh, discussed about three uh, problems uh, three scenario where uh, super keyword is used so now it is your turn to uh, uh, do a exercise and you can see there is an uml and the uml is actually uh, representing uh, a interface uh, the vehicle and volvo volvo is a vehicle so uh, please uh, practice it so that you can uh, understand the um, the learning level of your uh, overall the tutorial so uh, when you practice it let me know that uh, you have done the practicing so that's all the uh, that's all from the uh, uh, the first part we'll discuss about interface in the second part so till then everyone please stay safe stay home allah hafiz assalamu alaikum